Hey everyone! Welcome back! Today, we're talking about macOS Tahoe 26.1 Beta 3, build 25B5062E, which just dropped for developers. If you're on the beta track, you've probably noticed some tweaks already. We'll focus on the bug fixes, performance changes, and any subtle updates that make this build stand out. Let's jump in! If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss our breakdowns of the latest betas. Alright, on to the good stuff. First up, bug fixes. Apple continues to polish Tahoe with this beta. Here's what we've spotted from developer notes, forums, and user reports. Widget drag issue resolved. In previous betas, widgets sometimes wouldn't drag to where you wanted them on the desktop. This has been fixed, making customization smoother. No more frustrating repositioning. Electron app slowdowns addressed. A major headache in early Tahoe builds was performance lag in apps built on Electron, like Discord, Slack, and Figma. This stemmed from a bug with GPU acceleration and a private API. Developers are rolling out updates to Electron itself, and Beta 3 seems to play nicer with these fixes. If you've noticed choppy UI in these apps, update them and reboot. Users report big improvements. Developer-specific crashes fixed. For app makers, the navigation link indicator visibility modifier no longer crashes when running on older iOS alignments. You'll need to recompile against the 26.1 SDK, but this stabilizes cross-platform development. General stability tweaks. Apple mentions important bug fixes across the board, including security updates and compatibility improvements. One untested ongoing issue is alarms not playing after long display sleep, but a workaround, preventing display sleep in settings, still applies. Overall, forums like MacRumors report, so far, so good with no major new bugs popping up. These aren't flashy, but they tackle real pain points from Tahoe's launch, like those lingering from macOS 26.0. Now, let's talk performance. This is where Beta 3 shines. Tahoe 26 has had some criticism for feeling sluggish on certain hardware, but users are reporting noticeable boosts here. Snappier UI and frame rates. On setups like an M1 Mac with multiple monitors, desktop frame rates are up, and transitions feel smoother. Spotlight searches grind less, reducing those annoying hitches during everyday use. Reduced lag in system apps. Early Tahoe builds had lag in native apps like photos and music, but Beta 3 refines background processes. Memory management is still a watch area. Restarts help with leaks. But overall, it's feeling more responsive, especially on Apple Silicon machines. Thermal and CPU efficiency. Building on fixes from 26.0.1, Beta 3 improves thermal handling, cutting down on CPU spikes that caused overheating or throttling in prior versions. This ties into broader stability gains for prolonged sessions. If you're on an Intel Mac, Tahoe's the last version to support them. Performance might vary, but M-Series users should see the biggest wins. Pro tip. After updating, run a clean boot and monitor activity monitor to spot any remaining quirks. Beyond bugs and speed, a few visual tweaks. Updated icons. The Apple TV app gets a vibrant, colorful icon, ditching the gray, hinting at a rebrand. The internal disk icon now looks more like a modern SSD with those weird holes removed, small but satisfying. Hints at hardware. Code in Beta 3 references a Pro Display XDR2 with a built-in webcam. Exciting for pros. Apple Intelligence Expansions. More languages for live translation, like Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and groundwork for third-party AI models beyond ChatGPT. This beta aligns with iOS 26.1 Beta 3, so expect cross-device harmony. Public release should hit late October. That's the scoop on macOS Tahoe 26.1 Beta 3. It's all about refinement, fewer bugs, better performance, and teases for what's coming. Have you installed it? Drop your experiences in the comments. Any bugs fixed for you? If this helped, give it a thumbs up and share. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.